Farming Ag Report for Thursday, August 18, 2022. As agricultural producers begin to invest in new machinery to improve efficiency and sustainability, new research predicts significant growth in the farm equipment market. According to a report conducted by Markets and Markets, the farm equipment market is projected to rise to a value of $126 billion by 2027, a significant increase from the $99.4 billion estimated recorded value in 2021. In general, the demand for electric and autonomous farming equipment is expected to create more opportunity for the entire farming industry. Partnerships that companies like John Deere continue to establish with developers in this industry are also helping it to continue to evolve. The world's population is expected to increase to almost 10 billion people by 2050, resulting in an increased food demand. The USDA says the week ending August 4th was a mixed week for U.S. export sales. Export business is subject to a number of factors incurring currency trade, domestic commodity prices, and seasonal factors. Old crop soybeans were a net reduction for the sixth time out of the last seven weeks following cancellations by unknown destinations in China, while old crop corn was up sharply on the week. It failed to break 200,000 tons. Wheat and beef export sales were above a week ago, but lower than average in pork export sales receded after last week's big bump. The USDA's next set of supply and demand estimates is out Friday. Wheat came out at 359,000 tons, or 13.2 million bushels, up 44% from the week ending July 29th, but down 34% from the four-week average. Mexico purchased the most, and South Korea bought 62,000 tons. Corn was reported at 7.6 million bushels, considerably larger than both the previous week and the four-week average. Net beef sales totaled 14,600 tons, an increase of 22% on the week, but a decrease of 17% from the four-week average. According to the USDA's annual land values report, shows that farmland values pushed higher this year. For cropland, there were strong increases in the plain states. Pasture land values increased $1,650 per acre, an increase of 11.5% over last year. Did you ever wonder how a deaf person orders a pizza, calls for a doctor appointment, or schedules an oil change? The answer is Wyoming Relay, the free service that makes it possible for deaf, hard of hearing, and speech impaired customers to do business over the phone, to do business with you, spend money with you. So when you answer your phone and hear, This is Wyoming Relay, don't hang up. You're being connected with your next customer. Wyoming Relay, a program of the Department of Workforce Services.